My name is Louie and this is my 1994 Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR4. So I first got into cars when I was about 12 years old. I fell in love with the 94 Celica GT4. So that was my very first love. Uh, after that, my dad bought me a Prelude when I was 14. I wasn't running, pretty much told me to figure it out and, and fix it up. And back then there was no YouTube. So it was all using different type of encyclopedias and, uh, and asking questions with you know different mechanics. That's when all the street racing answered my blood uh, during the whole a Fast and the Furious era. That's when all the races were going on in Ontario, which was right down the street from me. And, and we were always there. I joined my first car club. I actually started my first car club and it was called Infamous. And, and we were just young and, and reckless. So by the time I turned uh, 15, I was introduced to the Mitsubishi 3000 GT. And that's where I was like, whoa, dude, this thing is insane. So I thought it was a Ferrari. I saw the first gen, I saw that it was like a 93. And I thought it was a Ferrari and my buddy told me exactly what it was. And that's when I told myself, okay, when I turn 18 and I have enough money, I'm going to, I'm going to snag that thing. Turned 18, grabbed a 93, uh, VR4. It was the Emerald green. And, uh, from there it was just nonstop, nonstop racing, nonstop cars, buying parts. At the time I was, I was young, so I didn't have too much money, but all I can remember was I was just boosting the shit out of it and launching the shit out of it and eventually it just it took its toll you know playing all those games with these cars and uh, i just constantly kept having problem after problem after problem and i just wasn't able to afford it so i told myself you know what i'm gonna I'm get rid of this car and when i get older and have more money i'm gonna i'm gonna get it again i got this baby right here this is becky i got her when i think it was 2019 july of 2019 uh, I was looking for a motorcycle and I just told myself, you know what, I'm not doing motorcycles no more. Let me look at cars and seen this one on uh, Craigslist and decided to give it a go. And ever since then, man, it was it was supposed to be lightly modified. And obviously I uh, I just went, I just kept going overboard and it was just addiction after addiction, never satisfied with this car. It does have its ups and downs, but uh, overall, I mean, this is this is the best thing that's probably ever happened to me with, with the car is being able to build something like this from scratch and, and just constantly hitting up different people and, and getting custom stuff made. So I've owned the 3000 GT for about three years. Uh, what attracted me to this car in the first place was the body style. At uh, first, I didn't know that they came twin turbo, but once I found out that they did come twin turbo, that's when I was like, okay, yeah, I definitely got to have this car. But overall, the, uh, the lack of popularity is what really got me to want to fix up this car and, and deal with this car. I think it's one of the most underrated. It actually is to me the most underrated car of the nineties. And uh, that's what, that's what drove me to, to constantly keep with it. Even though they have the down times, it's still, it's, it's worth it. When I look at this car and I see how much I put into it, I just think, you know what, nobody else has done this. So this is what I got to do. So I have three kids and uh, this one is the one that takes after me. So he's the one that, that, that follows me around, follows daddy around, always wants to do what I'm doing. So eventually, hopefully one day it can be passed down to either one of the other kids, but I think this one's going to be the one that wants it. Hopefully I can get him to, to keep an interest in it. He's still pretty young, but the other two didn't really take to it. And uh, hopefully we can keep him going. Daddy's monkey. Uh, yeah, just a second, dude. Sit down, sit down. So the exterior model list is pretty crazy. Starting from the front, it's the Cianti C7 carbon fiber front bumper. Then we have the Cybon DV2 carbon fiber hood. I have the RetroSpec side skirts, the retrospect side spats, the retrospect side extensions. I have the Nemesis Carbon hatch visor, Nemesis Carbon wing, and the Nemesis Carbon door sills. I have the TG Works trunk. I have the TG Works carbon fiber headliner, the Twin Z side spats, the Twin Z rear diffuser. I have the Robomod custom headlights. There's the Bomex carbon mirrors, the Working Motion T7Rs. I have Hankook tires. I have a custom made wide body made by Arif out in Dubai and it was overlaid in carbon fiber by C-Trans. As far as the engine mods, I have the Turbo Technique 16T turbos, there's the MPR headers, the DNP 
downpipe and pre-cats is a custom exhaust system. I have the AEM Series 2 tuned by Al Sisson out in San Diego. I have the AEM fuel pump and I have the 760 FIC injectors. I have the CX Racing FMIC and the Mishimoto radiator. I also have a Holman manual boost controller. The car is tuned on E85 and it's pushing about 400 wheel horsepower. So the car is equipped with AEM gauges all around. I have the carbon fiber center council. I also have the Kevman's carbon seats. I have D2 air suspension with the 3H management. I have a custom sound system by VIP Customs, which has two 10 inch kickers and a seven channel amp. I have the 3SX ball bearing short shifter kit. I have custom diamond metal floor mats. I have the NRG carbon fiber quick release. So I started off wanting everything custom. Nobody made anything for our car. So I was going out and asking people if they could make stuff for me. No one really wanted to do it. So I pretty much bribed them to do it and I overpaid for everything that I had. So I, I, I was determined to get it all done. So I designed most of the stuff that I have on my car and I had it made. I had it sent out to me from different countries. And from there, I decided to make a mold of these things and start a company. The whole time me spending money on my car, it was, if, if, if you have a wife or a significant other, you know that it's, it's constant a battle between you and them with how much money you spend on these cars. So uh, my wife kept telling me, why don't you just make these parts for your car and, and be the only one that provides these parts and I always wanted to be the only one I wanted to be the person that had these parts and every time someone asked me for the parts that were on my cars I always told them like hey it's custom made and I would never give them any answers finally I realized how much money I put into this car man and it was it, I, I, I started listening to my wife I started making the moves and making the calls and finding distribution centers that, that, that did this out of country or in country and uh, I started learning how to make these molds myself as well so I started working with fiberglass reaching out to my buddies that did this stuff and carbon eventually we ended up uh, coming to agreements with a couple couple different manufacturers and I had the wide body kit made that was my first my very first project so I designed this wide body and I had it custom made in Dubai by Arif um, he's from Resurrection and uh, we came to the agreement that I would make this and, and I'd be able to uh, provide it for, for other people, but it just took me a while to, to actually let go and not be the only one with all this stuff. So that was my very first product. Um, I, took a, I took a big risk. I went out and I, I had to make an order of, of 15 and I, I didn't even have the buyers yet. So I did that, I made the order and I sold all 15 of them within the first month. And so then I moved on to the to discontinued hoods. And now we're just trying to reproduce parts that have, that have been made before and that aren't around anymore or trying to customize those and reproduce those. So the, the whole point of all this was to, to revamp this platform because this platform kind of died out in the early 2000s and a lot of people didn't want to deal with them and, and, or, or modify them as much. And it's, it's still pretty big in Japan, but I wanted to be able to bring products over here and start selling them so that other people can enjoy what I get to enjoy. That, that's pretty much it. I want, you know, at first, I, like I said, I wanted to be the only one, but seeing the, the joy and the happiness that people have from being able to have these parts for their cars is the reason why I still keep going. So we're gonna keep, keep doing it for as long as we can. We're gonna ride it out for as long as I can and, and see how far we can take it. But the goal is to constantly keep progressing and making parts for the one, two, and three G. Again, my name is Louie. Thanks for taking interest in my 94 Mitsubishi 2000 GT. Hope you enjoy.